This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. All right, well, greetings. For those of you that visited us at the booth at Midwest, you kept hearing me talk about my home studio and my home setup and how I had to use a whole bunch of it in order to create the booth that we had there. Well, I'm about to set things back up again. We're back home and I've got some videos to make and I figured this was a really great opportunity to show you all uh, just how easy it is in a space that doesn't seem to be set up for it to do that. So uh, as you can see here behind me, this is actually a storage room in my basement and we've got Christmas decorations and extra blankets and things like that. This is not what you would think of for a studio space, but it actually works really well. And I apologize in advance that the lighting is horrible, but that's one of the things that we're going to fix. So in order to be able to use this for a studio, we're going to be, need to create some kind of a backdrop here, and then we need to be able to light it. And I'm going to show you kind of what we're dealing with here. So let's take a, the uh, quick tour. So as you can see here, we've got decorations and all that. Well, I've got something set up here, and if you've seen uh, some of my videos in the past, you've seen this. This is my backdrop, and it's actually up on a shower curtain. This room is about 10 feet wide, and I uh, attached, this is a um, vinyl uh, backdrop, and we'll see that as we get that open. And so I've got the shower curtain attached up here and up here, and then um, it's the vinyl is wrapped around PVC, and I'll get you some close-ups of that. And then what we do is we want to clamp that down so that it's nice and tight. So taking a look at what we've got going on here, let me reset this camera so you can see what's going on. So also, as you can see, I'll give you the, uh, the rest of the quick tour. Um, this is my desk, and we've got the equipment in here that we're going to use. So we've got power strip, extension cord, lights, uh, two clamp-on boom arms, the uh, Hercules, uh, was that the DG-107B, uh, the DG-207B phone holder, and uh, I've got another camera set up here on a separate tripod, and I've got a little bit of lighting going on here. Now, as you can see, this is really a small room. Um, there's just not a whole lot of space in here, which is fine. Uh, we can use that, but I've got my desk, I've got my chair, and because things get cold in here, and this is also my workspace, I've got a heater and I've got a shredder, um, printer, everything's fine. We can use this. Oh, and then the rug. The rug is super important because that's going to also help to absorb some sound. We don't want a whole lot of echo in here. The more we can do to create a good signal when we're recording, the less we're going to have to do in post when we're editing our video. Super important. So now as it relates to um, the backdrop, I'm going to unfurl that and cover over everything that we see here. So like I said, So like I said, this is just um, a vinyl uh, curtain that I had made, and I've got it wrapped around, and I'll do a close-up of that. It's wrapped around some PVC, as you can see there, and I put in screw eyes on that. That way I can wrap it tight, and then I'm going to hook it in uh, using one of these. So this has a screw eye on one end and a hook on the other, and I'm going to be able to tighten up the two sides of that. I've got um, anchors in the wall and over here on this door. Like I said, I'm just improvising here and doing what I can with the space that I have. And this is going to allow me to tighten it up and create uh, something nice in that backdrop. Let's see if I can get you a good close-up on this. You see up top side here, so I've got the hook anchored on up there, and then I've got the various uh, screw eyes into the PVC. And then I do the bottom the exact same way. So now that I've got the top set up, I just need to tighten this up a little bit. And then I do the same at the bottom. And one of the 
cool things about using this vinyl is uh, if it's got wrinkles in it that are really bothering me, you just take a hair dryer and you blow it over it and that'll shrink those together and it'll make it look the way that it's supposed to look. So now we've got the backdrop set up, we need to light it because the lighting here is horrible. And so what I use for that, it's, uh, it's actually pretty straightforward. I bought some task lighting over at uh, one of the home stores. Uh, you've heard of it, and um, it clamps on wherever I want it to be, and I want to be strategic about it. So I'm going to set up a, a couple of these lights, and then we'll adjust it, and I'll show you uh, kind of the thought process behind what I'm doing with that. The big thing with those lights is I'm going to want to hook everything into the uh, power strip, because that way, when I come to record and do stuff, I can turn the lights on and off, and I don't have to go around to all the various and sundry ones. It's it makes it not a big deal. So as far as lighting goes, I'll give you a quick tour of what I've got. I've got one desk lamp that's got an incandescent bulb in it. Um, and then so far I've got one just kind of a task light up there on the shelf. And that has a uh, LED in it. And I've, I'm going for as natural as possible. I can put colored bulbs into this if I want to and I want to get really crazy with it. But right now uh, I just need to light the space because this looks horrible. All right, so that's looking a bit better now. Uh, let me give you a quick tour of what I've got going on here. So I've got one light over there clamped to the shelf. I've got another one with another incandescent bulb uh, over there. I want the warmer light from that if I can get it. Um, I've got the desk lamp here that was already uh, here on the floor, and that's one that I have on a separate circuit because if I'm just working and not recording, I'll tend to use that. And then over here on the music stand, I'm doing a couple of interesting things. I've got one way down on the floor and one pointed straight up. <clears throat> I'm going to set up the camera. Oh, the next thing that we need to do then is uh, be able to set up our cameras. And so since the wall is right here, uh, what I use for this is um, the Hercules uh, mic stand, the, the boom arm. So what I'm going to do is put this right here on the shelf and have that come down from there. And then I'll reset the camera and you'll see uh, what a difference that all makes. Now the intended use for this is as a mic stand. It can be used for anything. As I was showing at the at Midwest at the booth, um, anything can clamp onto this stuff, and you should clamp anything onto it. If you've got a use for it, by all means, do it. Uh, so then what I'll use that, and I'll move this camera over. Oh, actually, here we get the phone holder. I can fine tune this later, but you'll get the idea. I'm sitting here at my desk with my backdrop, and it's actually looking pretty okay. So I don't have any diffusers or anything like that on the lights. So I'm just kind of stuck um, with using indirect lighting, and that's something that I'm a big fan of. So if we start moving this lighting around a little bit, it'll clear up some of the shadows. Now that light that I had down on the floor is to help backlight the backdrop. And, but that creates some different shadows. So that's going to give us a little bit of depth. It's going to give a little bit of clarity and definition because watch what happens. If I put light directly on me, I get kind of pale. I get kind of faded out. What I like to do is bounce it. I've got a nice white ceiling, so I bounce light off of that, off of the walls, off of the backdrop. And by creating some indirect lighting, I can make me look a little bit nicer. So I get the desk lamp on that. So now that I've got the lighting set up basically the way that I like it, I mean, I can do some more fine tuning. I'll give you a quick tour of what the setup looks like. So I've got the backdrop, which is anchored to the wall. I've got one light on the floor that's shooting across to uh, give that a little bit of definition. I've got one that's coming across as well. I've got my desk lamp there. I've got the camera on the boom arm. I've got another one there that's throwing some more natural kind of light. And I've got another one there on the other side. 
So that's the basic setup, and I can tweak and fine tune this, and I will as some time goes on. But I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it can be to set up a studio to do some really great home recording to make some content that people are going to want to watch. So uh, this is part one. Part two is going to be setting up your microphone and your recording and your editing and all that kind of stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.